Yo, what's good guys? Cube here, back for the first time in a long while. But before we get to anything, right, let me show you what I've been working on. So, uh, I have actually been getting commissioned a special avatar to use uh, during streams and maybe potential recordings in the future. And it's now done, so let me show you it. Here I am, I see. It's essentially just a chibi PNG version, version of myself. If you want to see how it works, uh, there is a couple of different states I can actually activate with different models that, that I've got in commissions. So obviously this one's like a wave and one, like a high one. This one's if I'm raging or that stuff, which I personally really like how shaky this one gets. I actually made it that shaky myself. Obviously a laughing one and an AFK one, so if I'm not talking. Goes down, talking, lights up, you know. But, uh, basically, you see the title of the video, I'm going to explain a few things why I can't, why I struggle to release content consistently, okay? So, 50% of it is going to be on, like, a webpage, and 50% of it is going to be all with gameplay in the background. It'll make sense soon, alright? Trust me. Alright, so let's first start off with the medical reason, okay? So, basically, I thought for years now I might have had a case of Insomnia, right, which affects my ability to sleep at night, which because I'm sitting there for hours at a time, not sleeping, I'm not getting enough sleep before I'm going to get for work, which means after I come home from work, I'm way too tired and way too lack of energy to be able to do anything when it comes to streams, recordings, and just content creation in general, never mind editing, making thumbnails, that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Best time I'd be able to probably do it is the weekends where I don't have to, like, you know, yeah, for a certain time, whatever, I can just record whenever, right? Uh, but, uh, I've actually found something that might have helped me, uh, sleep a lot easier at night now. You get, some of you, if you, if what I've described, you guys also suffer from, I'd recommend having a look at this little image down here, okay? This image in particular, what color light is best for sleep? Use a red, orange, and yellow, or better for preparing the mind and body for sleep. So basically, because of the amount of time I am on, like, you know, like, devices, like, tablets, boards, uh, PC monitors, uh, just in front of the screen in general. What this is doing, if you don't have night, a night mode on, like a night light mode, is emitting blue light, right? Which can be triggered, uh, don't forget to list it here, but basically the LEDs in, like, our screens can, like, emit blue light, right? Now, if we look at the bottom part of this image, right? Exposure to bright lights and cool toned colors, such as blue light from screens, as I've just mentioned, can inhibit melatonin production in a person awake, right? Whereas opposite one, the red light that on the candlelight end of the spectrum, based on the image you should, should be seeing now, can, um, can like basically tr emulate like an effect that is similar to a setting sun, which may help to signal that it's time to sleep. Basically, the TLDR is blue light can inhibit melatonin. I think that's how you say it. Which can keep a person awake and trick the mind to thinking it's during the day that you don't need to sleep, right? Whereas the red light of the spectrum, which is the opposite, actually makes you more sleepy due to the lack of melatonin production. I have tried this out for about a week to two weeks now on the red end of the spectrum by uh, going through like windows, display, and having a schedule, like on all my devices in general that enable like a nightlight mode, and having it come on at a certain time, but it'll make my, my, uh, screen more like orange or red tinted basically i notice i do get a lot more sleep here now and i'm able to sleep a lot more so this fix if this is like a permanent solution hopefully should help me to be able to like just have more energy to be able to do like on creation and more consistent schedule right so that is the medical 50 percent medical reason why uh i've been struggling to really even do content creation whatsoever i just have, I just have such a like energy to do anything kind of thing now, let me switch over to my PS5 and tell you about the 50% other reason why uh, I haven't exactly been uploading. And that reason is this game's Platinum Trophy. Let me get to the game and let me explain a little further. So you can see on my save file, I'm at 104, oh, basically 144 hours played on this file, right? Granted, I'm right before the Platinum Trophy now, so there is at least that. When I enter this room, you see how the, there is a room here with a lot of different weapon classes. So to ba basically break this down, I have literally got to get 300 vessels for each weapon type in the game 
When I do a boss run, I only get three vessels per run, and that is the highest amount you can get in the game per run. So you have to kill 100 bosses of each weapon type to be able to get the secret skill, which is the last trophy I need for the platinum. You gotta really unlock and enhance all the skills, including the secret skills. So I've got to get 100 you, like boss kills of the same boss over and over, grinding away for every skill tree kind of thing, like every weapon type. And how many weapon types in the game? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So if you can do the math, yes, I have to kill 1,300 bosses just for one trophy. I'm actually going to switch it over to uh this because this has been me for the past two weeks going insane trying to like literally figure out why they didn't just limit it to one or two uh you know skill tree weapon things at a time for this secret skill at the end of the skill tree they did not need to make the game this grindy but they did for some reason and oh yeah that was bad enough to call it the quickest way to do it is online and even if all of you are wanting to skip the timer to return to the lobby all of you have got to wait 43 seconds in between each boss kill to put that into perspective, I'm going to do a bit of math on my phone right now. It's probably not going to be on the screen, so you're going to have to take what I'm saying um, at face value, okay? So, if we take 43 seconds, okay, times that by 1,300 different times, that is 55,900 seconds. We divide that by, obviously, 60, so we see how many minutes that is. That is 931 minutes of just waiting. Let's divide that into hours, shall we? Divide that by 60 again. That is 15.5 hours, basically an entire day of just waiting to go back to the multiplayer lobby over this stupid grind. I know, yeah, I know, I know, it gets better, it gets a lot better, trust me. So, we've already done this for all the weapons bar one, which is the whip class, which is this altar here, okay? Um, so, yeah, 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 you, you think that's bad? The secret art trial? I'm like, so from all the XP I've been getting off this, right? This guy's level 50, right? I'm level 90. Yeah, for some reason, this dancing hero NPC likes to block basically 90% of your attacks, even with max dexterity, which basically translates to accuracy. This game's grind just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and this guy literally can't kill me, so all this is is me button matching the square button for the next 15 minutes until I beat this guy and I get the platinum. So. Uh, yeah, now you can understand why uh, <laughs> I have um, been um, at, like, on top of having no energy. I've also had to put over a very, very boring grind and I've not had any time to record the Platinum Nuzlocke or do anything Pokemon related or stream at all. And you can understand why now. I've Platinum every other Sword Art Online game in the series and I'll tell you something right now. This game, it, this game greatness wasn't like this in any of the other entries up to now and i've been playing the aco game since like 2014 when re hall of frag first came out so like y yeah yeah no this doesn't make sense i could have just like passed on this plan i'm sure but i've had this thing where i've planned every mainly aco game that ever came out so i wanted to uphold that so after i defeat this enemy here by this button matching and she's doing no damage to me uh i will end up getting this plan up so Hopefully you can understand why from both the medical side and from how stupid this game is to platinum in the first place uh, Why I've not been able to upload recently whatsoever now As we as I uh, wait for this HP bar to go down to get platinum true because this is the last thing I need to do in the entire game Thank God Let me um basically Answer some questions you might have about this PNG tuber vertical avatar you see on screen right now so basically, uh, yeah, I've kind of gone to the point where I don't really like using my actual webcam for like uh, every uh, like video and stream I do because I'm very, very OCD about my sitting position. I like to be as centered as possible on the webcam. Uh, I like my mic to be as centered as possible and I'm very OCD if anything's up to by a pixel. So uh, this um, PNG YouTuber allows me to just basically not have to worry about any of that and also the thing as well with having the big softbox light on and the room gets unnaturally warm sometimes like when i'm streaming as well so i won't get to get ready the room won't be in like an absolute sauna when i'm streaming i have the lights off i prefer to play stuff you know with the lights off anyway uh, keeps the temperature down in the room and honestly like just about like or like i said before about organizing like um all of the lighting setup mic position the setting position 
I can be as comfortable as I want with this because this PSG avatar requires no webcam for you that literally is just running through a program called VidoTube Mini. Like literally, like I plan to probably use this for more streams. I definitely think I'm still going to use like the webcam for like um, videos and such. However, in the future, if you guys really prefer this avatar rather than the webcam, I might just put this real time for everything. Depends what you guys are really thinking about that, but Talking streams, here's where I want to announce something. I think I am going to be coming back to Twitch live streaming, but not like often, not like multiple times a week or nothing. So there are a lot of gameplay throughs I want to do. Like this is the Pokemon channel for the Pokemon. It's still the Pokemon channel where Pokemon you can have main, mainly Pokemon, like a mainly a Pokemon channel, right? But at the same time, there are some really high priority games that's some of my favorite games of all time that I would like to stream um, on the YouTube mainly because after you stream it becomes a VOD and especially when it comes to first time playthroughs of something you can always go back and like watch your first reaction to something like you know way way later later on you know what I mean I, I think that's something really special about being able to like go back and watch your first reaction to something after a couple of years of that being out kind of thing you know what I'm saying and when it comes to retro game games I've already played before or games I'm just not really too bothered about having the first reaction to I'll probably just do that all on Twitch now there are two game playthroughs in particular that I'm going to be doing over there, uh, which are both Mario related, and that's going to be um, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars remake, which came out on Switch, and then the other Mario remake that recently happened as well, which is the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake. I've been wanting for those two games to get a remake for about over five years now, but they're still not like the top of my list to do. Like my absolute favorite favorite games will still be here on YouTube, but for example, the next series here on YouTube will be. Dino Blade Free's Future Connected um, DLC Story Expansion, which I've heard nothing but amazing things from, and uh, Dino Blade's one of my favorite game series of all time, so that's going to be on here. And then, like when I did Astro Bot, um, that that was my most anticipated release of the year by far. It's probably my number one of my top games at the minute by far, which is why that was on here too. But for the vast majority of streams now for game playthroughs, and just generally stuff I wouldn't do here in the YouTube, that all go in the Twitch now. So if you want to keep updated with when I do stuff in Twitch, I'll have a link to my Discord server in the description. You can go check that out and, you know, get alerted via there. Because I'm actually going to make a new section in my uh, Discord just for the Twitch stuff. It's this kind of a side project kind of thing. Like, I'm not going to be streaming this video. It'll just be when I want to stream over there kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally using the Twitch channel as like a variety channel uh, just so it doesn't affect the performance here on YouTube and I can focus in on doing Pokemon only, you know. Because games I can stream over on Twitch are in the game playthroughs and stuff like, uh, you know, Mario Kart Deluxe. Uh, obviously I stream Honkai Star Rail and Genshin here on the channel when like their main new expansion stories first come out. But more the grindier stuff, me just like building up characters or doing the end game mode, I just feel like with the core, even doing world exploration, if I feel like streaming that, I can do that over the Twitch as well. So that might give you some idea of like, where I am with everything and like what could be in there, what versus what can't be in here. But anyway, uh, I would like to think in the next couple of days here, I am going to go ahead and resume the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer and Nuzlocke that we were doing. It's been too long, it really has. I've literally not played it since the end of the last recording session, which is obviously the, the last episode that's recorded here. And then the next stream series I'll be doing, like I said, you know, playing the story. Don't know when that's gonna happen. Maybe like a few weeks off, yeah, at least, but yeah. So you guys obviously know from what I've just said about the Pokemon Nuzlocke like receiving, but Genshin did just up release 5.1 uh, patch a few days back, and there are two new main Archon quests slash, they're basically main story quests that I will be doing here. Both Acts 3 and 4 have been released, so I'll be doing them back to back in the same stream. I'm waiting until I at least get the Nuzlocke like back up and running, but I reckon within a week of me releasing this update video, both the Nuzlocke episodes and that stream will be happening. So once I get one, two episodes of Nuzlocke out, I'll then do the Genshin stream as well for those wondering about that. But anyway, that's all I wanted to really update you guys on going forward was just like everything I've talked about in the video. So the new model, the new avatar is kind of been explained. Uh, these, the two main reasons why I've not been able to really like, upload has been explained. So that's kind of everything that I've got. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. 
And yeah, I'm just going to cut now to when I get this platinum trophy and we will see you in, at the end of the video. Okay, finally, after what feels like a millennium, I finally went ahead and actually defeated him by just button mashing square off like a look like so you can't hit, get enemies. So let's finally get one of the two main reasons why I can't upload regularly out of the way. So, it literally got that bad that I literally, no joke, where is it? Uh, something to do with sound settings. Yeah, I literally turned off the game music. No joke. Uh, because I just started to watch YouTube videos all just mindlessly, you know, boss grinding because, uh, yeah. This game actually story, I actually quite enjoyed it. Unironically, but just the whole grind to get platinum afterwards was one of the worst experiences I've ever felt in a game in a long time. Genuinely, it was, it felt like an MMO type of grind. That's how grindy it felt in a single player game. It's like, bleh, you know? Skill palette. Nope, that's the wrong one. Skill tree, sorry. Whips. Punishment briar. Skill point eight or two. Are you sure you want to enhance it? Yep. Give me my damn platinum trophy. At the top, trophy earn, learn and enhance all skills. That trophy can go suck a fat one. And finally, what feels like forever. Last recollection, trophy earned. Let me go back to playing the randomizer, please. And oh yeah, if you think that's not truly me enough. Yeah, that new SEO game just came out like a month and a half ago. So I'm probably gonna have to pick that up on Black Friday and then Hopefully not have as much of a grain, but dudes basically all again. Haha. <laughs> Fun. But no, like on the real though, from what I've seen of like people playing the game, it actually doesn't look too grindy and it actually seems pretty uh, reasonable, honestly. It seems to be more, more multiplayer made focus, so that's pretty good. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for the update. But if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below that said before about the be setting up the Twitch Twitch again uh from time to time, about what stuff's gonna be on YouTube versus Twitch and uh overall about this avatar because uh yeah I'm down to answer any questions you guys have got about that but this is Cube signing out have a good one stay safe and we'll see you in the next one peace